Okay, so my shelf system has arrived today and there's four shelves. It's 180 centimeters height. The width of the shelf, um, the longest side of the shelf is 90 centimeters and how deep it goes back is about 53 centimeters approximately and these are those commercial strong metal shelves and they're apparently easy to put together you slide each one onto the tube poles that you get with it this is one of the poles the top part is just a flat plastic and you get every so often in increments these little notches here which is where you select the area I'm guessing where you can sit the shelves and they're adjustable so you get four of these these are about 2.5 centimeter diameter pole the bottom of the poles have these twisty sections which are threaded so you can balance them on the floor if you've got unlevel flooring. But for now I've just tightened them all up at the same level. And this is meant to be chrome plated steel. The lighting's not brilliant, but you can see where the join has been welded. Some of them are a bit scratchy, a bit sharp. And I'm just hoping they're going to be solid and it's not going to come away. But so far they look good. I've got to take them out now and inspect them. So I've opened up the box now and thankfully in there at the back you've got the plastic brackets which slot onto the tubes at where the shelf meets the pole so it's good to see they've got those in there. And because this is the wider shelf, it has that central support going down the center. Yeah, I'm happy with those so far. So I've just got to put it together now. Now I've got a shelf here and the bit that was concerning me was how well the poles went through the shelf but I'm trying to do this with one hand the poles slide freely through so there's no stiffness there because apparently you don't need any tools to put these together so I've just slid that through there and it slides in and out very easily Okay, so I've just popped those a few succulents up onto the shelf just to give you an idea of how it looks. I've got the two grow lights. I've just switched one on and the top one is off. I'm not going to 
leave them like this because obviously when I do come to water the plants I don't want it all dripping down onto the carpet so I've got this tray here just for demonstration purposes um, the grow trays that I've ordered should be here tomorrow um, they're like a one meter long by about 40 centimeters depth so they'll overhang slightly by five centimeters at each end but I'm now thinking I might change my mind and go back to using these trays here because I can fit two of those side by side and they just about fit so that they fit against this groove and they don't fall off but they do have a tiny little tilt up to the back which I don't mind and then I'm going to put them all onto the tray so obviously when it comes to watering it will be a lot easier but this light that's switched on is shining out so much light that at the moment because there's nothing up there blocking this light to come down when I have both of them on it's just pointless so when I do get the trays obviously I'll have both lights on I'll just turn this one on as well so you can see I'm having them facing against the wall so I won't need to worry about putting glasses on special UV blocking glasses because I'm not going to be looking directly at it so that's how it looks at the moment this um plant here flowered for me last year and it was absolutely beautiful in fact there you go you can see in the middle those two pale very pale greeny white colored things I think they could be new flower stems coming through Oh my god, they, I'm sure I didn't notice that the other day. Obviously it's been drying out and I've now put it into a new pot. No, it doesn't look exactly brilliant, but it's better than it was. Oh, so that'd be interesting. When this does flower, the stalk get about that high, probably about 30 centimetres, up to 30 centimetres. And it has these beautiful little flowers um, I'll put a photo of the flowers up on the video if I can find it. This is the one that my mum loves. I have no idea what it's called. But I don't have many cactus, uh, sorry, succulent plants that are like this. Um, I'm more into my cactus more than anything. But I do have quite a few different succulents. And this one here, I always love these ones. If you see the underside of the leaves are always this beautiful plum red. And this one is Crassula ovata minima, or you can call it Crassula minor, as in it's the smaller leaved variety. And this one, if you can see here, how the stems tend to drape over. And actually, this isn't because it's not growing very well. It actually likes to trail like this in its natural habitat. 
so I've kind of refrained now from trimming it back because to begin with I used to trim it back quite a lot because I thought oh god it keeps hanging over and when I did some research into it, it actually does that in its natural environment so I really love this one because of the beautiful undercolour of the leaves and um, even when I pick the leaves off to propagate they always grow with these beautiful coloured leaves on the underside and uh, it's the smaller leaved variety of the um, the standard jade and that one's my variegated one which I absolutely love it's got a really beautiful shape to it and then there's this one here which I'm not really sure what the name is of that one it was bought for me as a gift and it, it just gets longer and longer and longer and before I potted it up it was probably that much more taller because I've seated it far lower in the soil because it kept toppling so hopefully the stems that have gone a bit further down will send, send out some roots and it will anchor itself in a bit better this one here is really pretty and it has that coating on its leaves so you if you touch it it, it um, smears and if you can see on the lower leaves obviously where it fell down it's ruined that um, I can't think of the word now the coating on the leaves is all washed off so when you get a plant like this you're not supposed to touch its leaves although sometimes it's unavoidable but it's a very really pretty plant and I had to sit this one slightly lower down in the pot as well so I pulled off a couple of the leaves because it was starting to get top heavy and this one's a golem jade and it's the the um, variegated one where you have the different colours on them and then I've got the green varieties as well and then there's another jade here I think this is the Hummel Sunset one uh, a lot of the plant labels fell off so <laughs> this one needs repotting there's quite a few here that need repotting that I haven't actually potted since I bought them all of the Gollum Jades are still in the same soil mix um, I've got loads of them because they were all reduced plants last year and I picked them all up and uh, they were like less than a pound each so I picked them all up <laughs> and that one back there that is one I had to chop up that's a crassula it's the one with the wavy leaves and that one there is a crassula and it's a bit like the one with the wavy leaves but I can't remember what it looks like now but um, I've literally had to hack it all back but yeah I've got that light there and then I've got another light which I'm then going to fix down to the shelf with the tray on so one light will shine on that shelf and then the other bendy light will shine below. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.